Hey guys, this is me, Isabel Marie again, finishing my Winter Wonderland look. If you missed the other steps, go find them, because they're a lot of fun. I'm taking you guys step by step to show you how to replicate this, or attempt to, because I've never done this before, this look, and I just go with what I feel. I do need to hurry up, though. I promised my son I would go pick him up, and he doesn't know I'm going to do this. So, I already did the eyeliner before. I put the white cream powder on my eye, I mean, the white cream makeup on my eyelashes. I patted them. Like I said, I'll tell you what that's for in a minute. What I'm going to do, in true holiday fashion, so I'm going to just do some S scrolls or some little scrolls to kind of bring out the little designer in me, I guess. But also, I don't know. I just, I like doing the scrolls a lot because they're pretty and they're curvy and they're nice. I'm also going to end up putting rhinestones to them, so. There's no particular pattern, girls. Do, girls, guys, excuse me. Do whatever you feel is, is best for you. I kind of don't like to do the same thing twice, so I, I really try to bring out different every time. Yeah, I like that. That looks cute. <laughs> um, this is just eyeliner. It's NYC liquid eyeliner. No big deal. You can find it for like a dollar eighty I think at Walmart. I use what works and I use what's affordable. I love MAC. I love a lot of the girls who just stick to one or the other but I like to be diverse and creative and go with what's best for me. Like I was saying earlier we all have our own styles and they work for everybody else. You know they each work for each of us and we share little tips and learn little things. Like I've learned a lot from Artistic Cat. I've learned a lot from Queen of Blending. I've learned a lot from Candy. I want to say her name is Candy. I keep going back and forth with her name because I think it's Candy and then CC or and I have to make sure I pronounce it right so I can keep plugging her in my videos. But yeah, she's really nice too and she's very supportive. Um, Purse Buzz, I like her look and she's a Mac girl. Um, there's a few of them. There's a girl from the UK, I can't remember right off the top of my head, but she does a lot of really, really nice looks. I think she's from the UK, that's where her accent sounds from, but I'll have to check up on that, guys, so I can give you the most accurate, up-to-date information. Okay, so I did the scrolls on both sides. Um, like I tell people, one side always looks better, and I can tell which one it is for me. I do like that. Um, what else can we do? I know what we can do. Let me grab my scissors really quick. See if this will work out. And I think the kids will love this. I bought these and I'm not done using them. This is the first time I've actually, I'm opening them right now. These are these little brass stencils. Hopefully you can see that. It's a little snowman. So maybe I could stencil snowman on my cheek. Let's see. I'm right handed. I like the right side better, I guess. It's a big snowman, but it's okay. I'll do the basis, the whole basis in white. That's actually why I got my little sponge paintbrush. So just in case I decided to go through with it, I guess. And um, I'm just dipping it right now to my white cream makeup, which is the basis of this look. Hopefully it's going to work because, like I said, this actual makeup is pretty hard um, to work with. It's really thick. And I've tried different solutions to water it down, but nothing that actually works. And... Obviously, clowns must sweat a lot. <laughs> That's why it's so thick like that. So, let's see how this comes out, guys. I'm just putting this stencil against my cheek. And it's cool because some of the makeup is still wet. So, maybe it'll stick better. And I'm just going to go over it with the actual paintbrush. Let me get closer. Yeah. No big deal if you get with, you know, outside the lines. You can always clean it up later. I don't believe there's every, anything, you know, bad about a mistake. Some mistakes end up being really good in the long run. And you just kind of work with it. And whatever you do that you don't like, it can be undone. So, that's with anything in life, guys, not just one thing or another. So, I don't know if that's thick enough or... You know what? He's sticking there. Since he's sticking there, maybe... Let me see if I have my thin, thin, thin paintbrush. And I do. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see where this is going already. Maybe I'll just paint him in his hat black. 
So I'll use my liquid eyeliner to that. I obviously have to be very careful, so let's see how this goes. Do, 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 do. I actually have some Jeopardy music right now. Just outlining his hat with my eyeliner liquid. NYC, you can get it at Walmart. There's a lot of products I use. I use Wet n Wild, MAC, Rimmel. I, I do like Rimmel and I do like NYC a lot um, for liquid eyeliners, for concealers, lip liners, lipsticks. Um, and eyeshadow for Rimmel. Rimmel has a really good eyeshadow line. Um, as far as eyeshadows, I use them from every direction. Hot Topic. Um, I do like Hot Topic a lot. Hopefully this guy comes out good and not too many little mistakes. But should his eyes be black too? Oh wait, his coal, right? His button. His coal little buttons. And this is cool that it's sticking for me. Which is cool. Let's just do his eyes black because just in case. Besides, this brush is small enough to fit in there. Now, <laughs> he might turn out to be a blob. He might turn out to be a snow god. Who knows? We'll see. Let me get my smallest little brush. Oops. Sorry, guys. That was my mirror. And I actually have different cream eyeshadows. This one is another costume one. Just to let you know, this is what is the uh, Grafto Beyond Theatrical Makeup. The orange stains your skin for a little while. That's why he's getting a slight carrot nose, and that's it. If I had brown, it'd be a twig. I'm just kidding. It's, it's small, and it's under a lot of layers, so it's not going to stain it, but... I did use this on my eyes once, and pretty much I had orange eyes for a while. And since I work from home, I didn't care. So there's his little nose. Hopefully that came out right, guys. You see, you're experimenting with me. You're part of my family, so to speak. Not like my real family, but... Oh, you can go see the other videos for all that jazz. I do like red, so I'm going with my red. Um, cream eyeshadow. I got this from Hot Topics. No name, so I'm gonna do the scarf red. Let's do the little scarf red, cause Frosty is cold. Guys, I need to hurry up. I might come back and do detailing later, but for the gist of what's going on, I have to go pick up my son from school early today, cause it's half day, and I know he's gonna like. Th he's gonna love this look. I didn't tell him I was going to do it. Kind of got the idea a couple of days ago. Started thinking about how I could do it or what I could do to do it. So, Okay, his arms I guess are going to be black since I don't have a brown cream. So we'll go back to the liquid eyeliner. And the outline of him should be what? Maybe white? Let's see, come on man. Help me out, Frosty. Don't smudge. I'm sure I could just clean him up even if he does smudge. But hopefully this video is not longer than 10 minutes, which I kind of now have the feeling it is. Um, white, white, white. I'll just paint white in with my little brush. Um, let me make sure it's really, really clean. I actually have a white that's a lot more pliable, but it's a smaller pot. Same um, Grafto Beyond Theatrical Makeup. Ooh, no, it's, the brush is not clean. So, I know, this brush might work. Nope, it has green on it. <laughs> I gotta clean my brushes more often. I know, I know, bad me, shame on me. I'll just get the one I use for the snowflakes. It's white anyways. Kind of outline him down here. Just a slight outline since he's white, anyways. And I'll do the rest, you know, by hand. Let's see how he came out. Hey! He didn't come out too bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can work with this. Okay, guys, I'm going to work with the snowman, and I'll see you in the next one. Find me, Isabel Marie13, gmail.com. 
isabel number one three at gmail.com, youtube.com. You'll just look my name, isabel, M-A-R-I-E, two words. Google it, find me. Bye.